everyone, and welcome to another edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Barbara Rogers. With me in the studio now is Jeannie Lee. She is the president of the California Dragon Boat Association. And in case somebody doesn't know what a dragon boat is, what is a dragon boat? Uh, a dragon boat is a boat that's roughly 45 feet in length, and it seats um, 20 paddlers. And you have a steers person in the back and a coach or a drummer in the front. So it looks kind of like a canoe in a way, doesn't it's, it? It's a very long canoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and it's what's interesting about it, in order to, to get this boat going, you need all twin paddlers to be paddling simultaneously. Ah. So, and we do dragon boat races here in the Bay Area. Now, and the other thing that's different from a canoe, other than the fact that it's longer, is that it's usually very colorfully decorated. Oh, it's, it's so beautiful. We have a beautiful dragon head that just comes out from the front, and you have the tail from the rear. And when you see these boats going line by line next to each other racing, it's just such a beautiful sight. It is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I've and, seen and there's it, yeah. drumming. The, 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 their drummer in front goes to the beat, and you just paddle to the beat. And it's, it's a very exciting um, event to do, yeah. How long have you been involved with dragon boat racing? Uh, personally, I've been involved um, probably over seven years. Uh, I paddle on a competitive team. At the same time, I volunteer. Um, as president of the California Dragon Boat Association, our, our mission is to just grow the sport of dragon boating uh, all throughout the Bay Area. And it's gotten pretty large. You know, it has. It started over uh, 15 years ago. Uh, our youth teams, we have a youth division that started 10 years. In fact, uh, this April is our 10-year anniversary. And uh, it's the largest after-school dragon boat program um, in the Bay Area, actually in the United States. Wow. Mm -hmm. From San Francisco all through the peninsula and the East Bay, too. And how do kids get involved with it? Um, you know what? It's from uh, at the school. Uh, mainly a lot of our coaches are teachers that actually paddle competitively. At the same time, they start dragon boat uh, teams within the school. It started 10 years ago with just a few high schools, uh, Lincoln, Lowe, with the teachers started that. And now it's gro grown over to most of the, um, I guess most of the high schools in San Francisco will have a dragon boat. Is there a cost if the children want to be involved? No, that's what we're very proud of. It's free to the youth. And what we've seen is we're all volunteers, including the coaches and steers people and everyone um, that sets up our races. Um, all our funding is probably due to our uh, big Dragon Boat Festival that we have in September. We do this every year. And uh, last year was at Treasure Island. This year will be on Treasure Island again. So again, the uh, youth competition is coming up in April? April the 16th. And where will that be? Uh, it'll be at Lake Merced. So it'll be a local race uh, right off at One Harding. Um, in San Francisco. And for anybody who wants to attend, is there a ticket you have oh, to buy no. or you just uh, come every, and stand around the lake and watch? Watch. Everybody come. You're going to see a lot of energy. You're going to see all the kids out there racing and uh, you're going to see it's, you're gonna see so much energy and enthusiasm there. Now will you actually be I involved in that oh, in any way? Because it, it's the youth competition. I'm not saying you're not young. But <laughs> no. I didn't know if you would be Ab involved. Absolutely. We have lots of volunteers and so we need to feed our volunteers. <laughs> oh, so you'll yeah. be helping on the shore this yes, time. Yes. You won't be actually out paddling yes, in, no, in any no, of this. No, I one. won't be. I'll be just uh, watching the kids and feeling all their energy. So okay. it's very exciting. We have a great race director. His name is Ken Hong, and he has been uh, race directing this race uh, for uh, since forever. And he, he's, he's such a good um, person to be in contact with the kids and get them going. So. All right. Well, I hope you have a wonderful race and a beautiful day for the race. Oh, yes. <laughs> no <thank> rain. You. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thanks a lot, Jeannie Lee. All right. Okay. And thank you for joining us for another edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I hope you'll join us again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>